after our tour of the Kyoto Imperial Palace, we have to go back to Kyoto Station to proceed with our next tour destination, the SC Maglev and Railway Park, which is a railway museum located in Nagoya, Japan. Using Google Maps, we found out that the SC Maglev and Railway Park is near the Kinjokuto Station in Nagoya, Japan. Using Hyperdia Search Tool, we can find the best train route from the Inadigawa Station in Kyoto, which is near the Kyoto Imperial Palace where we are coming from, all the way to Kinjokuto Station in Nagoya, near the SC Maglev and Railway Park. Our Hyperdia Search shows that from the Inadigawa Station near the Kyoto Imperial Palace, the first part of our journey to the SC Maglev and Railway Park in Nagoya is to ride the Kyoto City Karasuma Line for Takeda to Kyoto Station. And so from the Kyoto Imperial Palace, we walk back and enter the Imadigawa Station at exit or entrance number 3. Entering the Imadigawa Station at entrance number 3, we go down to the station platforms at the basement floor and ride the train at platform number 1, which is going towards the Takeda Station. At the Imadigawa Station, the signboard for platform number 1 is also marked for trains going in the direction of Shintanabe Station. This is because the train switch stops at platform number 1 at the Imadigawa Station after passing through the Kyoto Station goes to Takeda Station which is actually a transfer station for Kintetsu Kyoto Line which goes to the Shintanabe Station. Standing on the platform, you will also see another signboard on the wall which shows which direction the train is going whether the train direction is going up or going down. Using the Kyoto City subway route map, we can see that the Imadigawa station where we start our trip is K06 while our destination is Kyoto station which is K11. And since the numbers are going up, the train direction is regarded as going up. To make sure that we are riding the train on the platform for trains traveling in the direction going up, we must make sure that the train station numbers on the signboard are also going up. That is K06 for the Imadigawa station to K07 for the Marutomachi station. And so after riding the Karasuma line train at the Imadigawa station at platform number 1, which is going to Takeda station, after 10 minutes, we arrive and get down at the Kyoto Station. The Karasuma Line subway exit ticket gates at the Kyoto Station are found at many locations. We exit the subway through the Karasuma Line ticket gates near the underground east exit. The Karasuma Line is not included in our JR Pass. And so we entered and now we exit the ticket gates using our Suica card which we bought at the Narita Airport. After our arrival at the Kyoto Station and going out of the Karasuma subway line, the second part of our journey is to ride the Shinkansen bullet train from the Kyoto Station to Nagoya Station. Using Google Map Street View, we can see that from the Karasuma line subway ticket gates, we walk and enter the JR Underground East Exit by showing our JR Pass to the man or woman at the counter at the side of the ticket gates. We entered the JR Underground East Exit in order to find the way that will lead us to the Shinkansen bullet train platforms. From the Underground East Exit, we walk straight through the Underground walkway until at the end of the walkway, we find the escalator going up to the Shinkansen bullet train platforms. We will get back here later, but before we forget, we have to go and get our luggage which we kept at the coin lockers just outside the Kyoto station. And so, in order to go to the coin lockers from the basement floor, we have to go up to the Hachijo East Gate.
to exit the JR lines, we show our JR pass to the man or woman at the counter at the side of the ticket gates. For lunch, we eat at McDonald's or any of the many restaurants along the passageway. Then, we took our luggage which we kept at the coin lockers just outside the station. After getting our luggage, we have to find the JR ticket office to get our ticket reservation for our Shinkansen bullet train reserve seat which is also provided using our JR Pass. This is to make sure that we get a reserved seat on the Shinkansen bullet train. Without the reserved seat, we will only get a non-reserved seat which is provided on a first-come, first-served basis. We finally arrived at the JR ticket office of the Kyoto station. Here we get our reserved seat ticket just by showing our JR pass to the man or woman at the counter. Normally, they will give you the next immediate Shinkansen bullet train that will arrive at the station, but you can book for whatever time you want to board the train. Make sure that you will arrive at the train platform on time, as the Shinkansen bullet train will leave exactly on the time stated on your reservation ticket. In this reservation ticket, for example, the train will leave the station at exactly 14.32 hours or 2.32 p.m. and arrive at the Nagoya station at 15.25 hours or 3.25 p.m. After getting our reserved seat ticket from the JR ticket office, we proceed to the Shinkansen gates. One of the Shinkansen ticket gates is the Hachijo gate which is just beside the JR ticket office. We enter the Hachijo entrance by showing our JR pass to the man or woman at the counter at the side of the ticket gates. Then we look at the information display to find out at which platform we will board the bullet train. We can also find this using the Hyperdia search tool. Our reserved seat ticket shows that at the Kyoto station, we ride the Hikari 524 Shinkansen bullet train at 14.32 hours or 2.32 p.m. while our Hyperdia search result, which we have previously done, shows that we ride the Hikari 524 Shinkansen bullet train at 14.32 hours or 2.32 p.m. at the Kyoto station at departure track or platform number 12. Now that we know at which platform we board the bullet train and that we have to board the Hikari 524 bullet train at platform number 12, we proceed to the Shinkansen platforms using the escalator or elevator provided at the station. Using Google Maps Street View, we can also choose which floors we want to see at the Kyoto station exactly from the point we are starting from. Looking at the Kyoto Station building layout, we can see that using the elevator located near the Shinkansen Hachijo Gate, we can go directly to the Shinkansen Truck Number 12 by going to the third floor. And so using Google Maps Street View, we select Number 3 on the side tab to select the third floor of the elevator. At the third floor, you will see truck number 12 where we ride the Shinkansen bullet train going to Nagoya station. Going back to the underground east exit, if we are in a hurry and we don't have any luggage left at the coin lockers of the Kyoto station, we can go directly to the Shinkansen platforms. At the end of the walkway, there is an escalator that will take us to the Shinkansen bullet train platforms. Using this escalator, we go up to the second floor.
At the second floor, you will find a small JR ticket counter where we can get our reserve seat ticket just by showing our JR pass to the man or woman at the counter. Just beside this small ticket counter is the Shinkansen East Transfer Gate. We enter the Shinkansen East Transfer Gate by showing our JR pass to the man or woman at the counter at the side of the ticket gates. Upon entering the Shinkansen East Transfer Gate, we proceed to our designated Shinkansen bullet train platforms, which in our case is platform number 12. We go up to platform number 12 using the escalator or if we have lots of baggage to carry, we can also use the elevator provided at this station. On the third floor, we proceed to platform number 12 where we ride the Shinkansen bullet train going to Nagoya station. And so, riding the Hikari 524 Shinkansen bullet train at the Kyoto station at departure track or platform number 12. After 53 minutes, we arrived at the Nagoya station. After arriving at the Nagoya station at track number or platform number 14, we proceed to the Aonami Line train platform for our trip to the Kinjifuto station. Using this map of the Nagoya station, we can have an idea of how to go to the Aonami Line train platforms. The Nagoya station Shinkansen train platforms has four escalators, two for the north exit and two for the south exit and also an elevator near the north exit. The map shows that the Aonami Line train platforms are nearer to the south exit which goes to the Shinkansen South Transfer Gate. We can also use the elevator to go to the Aonami Line train platforms but to save time, we use the south exit which goes to the Shinkansen South Transfer Gate. And so, after arriving at the Nagoya station at platform number 14, we proceed to one of the two escalator or stairway going down to the south exit and go down to the first floor. In order to go to the Aonami line platforms, we first exit the Shinkansen South Transfer Gate by showing our JR pass to the man or woman at the counter at the side of the ticket gates. After getting through the Shinkansen South Transfer Gate, we walk ahead and just before the stairway for platform number 12 and 13, we turn right and walk up to the end of the walkway. At the end of the walkway, we follow the signboard and walk towards the right to follow the direction for the Aonami line. Then we follow the direction of the walkway, which after a few steps eventually turns to the left. Then finally, we will find the ticket gates for the Aonami line. The Aonami line is not included in our JR pass. To enter the Aonami line, we use the Suica card which we bought at the Narita airport. Upon entering the Aonami line, we walk straight towards the right side and use the elevator for the Aonami line platforms. Using this elevator, we go to the second floor. On the second floor, we proceed to platform number 2, where we ride the Aonami Line train going to Kinjifuto Station. Traveling from the Nagoya Station using the 
Auna Mi Line Train. After 24 minutes, we arrived at the Kinjofuto Station. Using the elevator, we go to the first floor. We exit the Kinjifuto station using our Suica card which we bought at the Narita airport. We are now going to the uh, SC Maglev uh, Train uh, Museum here in uh, Kinjokuto in uh, Nagoya. So there it is, we finally arrived at the SC Maglev and Railway Park near the Kinjifuto Station in Nagoya, Japan. The SC Maglev and Railway Park is a museum showing the technological and historical development in high-speed railway through a showcase of full-size railway vehicles as well as other exhibits related to high-speed train technology which include the superconducting magnetically levitated vehicle with the acronym SC Maglev. This museum is operated by the Central Japan Railway Company also known as JR Central.